How's it going everyone? Ben here and today I'm going to be talking about how the Capitol riots that happened a few days ago can honestly be a really big public health emergency. Now I'm not here to summarize what happened a few days ago near the Capitol by a bunch of pro-Trump rioters, but I do want to talk about the health implications of that event. There are a lot of other nuances to that event that a lot of other activists and advocates are talking about but today i'm here to strictly talk about why it's pretty concerning from a public health standpoint now as of right now we don't know the exact number of the crowd size that was there when those riots happened but we can assume based on accounts and photographs that were taken that it was a couple of thousand people there a huge majority of those people were not wearing masks. So I saw uh, some news headlines early on this week that really inspired this video, but a lot of people are considering this to be somewhat of a super spreader event. When you have that many people without masks stuck together in huge crowds, there is a concern for the spread of COVID-19. Of course, none of those people were um, adhering to social distancing guidelines, no one had the six feet distance. And when the riots ensued, that little that the organization that they even had, somewhat of an organization they even had, completely fell into disarray, and they started bumping and grinding and bumping heads with other people. I mean, even if you consider these crowds and the behavior of these crowds to the Black Lives Matter protesters that happened back in the summer of 2020, you would see that a majority of the Black Lives Matter protesters were wearing masks and were trying to do their best to adhere to social distancing guidelines. I don't think there's a perfect way to do that when you have a huge mass protest. However, they were a lot more poised and a lot more careful than the rioters in this aspect. And we can understand why a lot of people who have uh, pro-Trump sympathetics tend to not really believe in the severity of COVID-19. And to make matters worse, most of these rioters came from all over the country. I mean, there's people from Georgia, Alabama, Pennsylvania, West Virginia. I mean, like literally every state possible, there were people there in those crowds. There were people there that were not wearing masks. And those people are probably going back home and, you know, carrying COVID-19 with them if they are exposed to COVID-19, which is a very high likelihood. Not to mention the fact that on their way back home, they interacted with a lot of people outside of the riots. They interacted with their hotel clerks. A lot of them stayed at hotels. A lot of them took airplanes back. So when you board an airplane, those areas are not well ventilated and you expose literally all your passengers with you when you are exposed to COVID-19 when you're on an airplane. And even during the rise, there was a huge area of concern because a lot of people were being evacuated into small rooms and a lot of representatives refused to wear masks in those settings. I mean, even Representative Susan Wild from Pennsylvania told CBS News she noticed that while she and 300 to 400 people were sequestered in the secure location, many refused to wear masks, especially people who also are conservative and don't want to believe in the severity of COVID-19. So not only did these rioters put legislators in danger of contacting COVID-19, but when they were packed together in evacuation rooms and their own peers didn't adhere to social distancing guidelines. Within the next few days and weeks, the identities of these rioters will more and more likely be revealed. I urge anyone who has had close contact with these rioters to go get tested immediately and quarantine themselves if they do test positive. But also, if you are slightly adjacent to someone who did go to the Capitol during these times, to just be very vigilant when it comes to protecting yourself from COVID. Wear a mask. That goes to anyone. I know vaccines are out and it's starting to look a little bit more hopeful, but we also have a new strain of coronavirus that we don't necessarily know much about as of yet that has also come to America. So please, please, please social distance. Vaccines are not even available for the majority of people. And even for those people that have the vaccine available to them, sometimes you're not getting enough shipments. So I am um, part of the phase 1A um, 
program of the vaccine trials, which is I'm a healthcare worker. But at the same time, I still haven't had access to the COVID vaccine because there's just not many shipments going out right now. So please stay vigilant. Please wear a mask. Please wear a face shield and know that there's going to be people that try to do their utmost best to be super reckless and to expose you to COVID-19 and to protect yourself from these kinds of people. And like we have a huge, we had a huge display of those kinds of people last week uh, during the Capitol riots. Thank you for watching this video. Please share it with someone that may benefit from it. Please like this video because it helps me out a lot with the algorithm and follow me on Instagram and Twitter to keep up with my daily life because I post a lot on there and I'll see you all on the next one. This has been.